just arrived to NFT LA and tonight at the Asuki Garden Party. Oh, damn. Man, they got a line line. Which is causing major FOMO from people all over the world. Where are you from? You don't have Hong Kong. The cost of admission, one Asuki NFT. That's going to run you about $62,000. On the floor tonight. <laughs> saw a tweet today that said it's friday but in the but in web 3 there's no weekends yeah <laughs> <laughs> i saw somebody's tweet i was like bro what Welcome to the House of Clay podcast, the number one podcast on culture, where we talk about film, movies, music, art, 3D art, NFTs, Web3, and a bunch of other cool stuff. We just got back from LA, such an amazing experience. Uh, we had so much fun. Me and Roland filmed the entire time, literally carried our entire production. The whole setup. Yeah, the whole <laughs> setup. We had setups on set. We actually had two full setups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. And we were able to interview some of the pioneers in the space. The guys from MV3, Roberto Nixon, uh, Quinn. Uh, we got the guys from Smiles, Wahid, Giovanni. Yeah. The guys from uh, Signor. Um, I can't pronounce his name. Al Al Almos. Almos, they're Italian, by the way. Yeah. Almos and Mark. <laughs> they call him Darth Vader. No, Darth... Uh, Darth Zuckerberg. Okay. Because he kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that resemblance. Uh, who was the with interview? Mm. Was that it? And we did kind of like conversations on the go. Yeah, we people? had a lot of, so we had a lot of off interviews. So they're like not official interviews, but like we spoke to a lot of different people. See. And this is going to, like we mentioned in the previous podcast, this is going to be for a docuseries, which we already figured out how we're going to release. Yeah. Stay tuned for the official announcement. Um, both Roland and I working at, are working super hard on this. We officially got a partner on this project. And we have the next few episodes already lined up. We're going to be traveling to different parts of the U.S. Um, filming with some of the pioneers in the space, like I mentioned. Some of these stories that are being created right now, we're going to go there and dive deep. And we're actually going to... One of the missions for this uh, project itself is to really look into who the founder is yeah. or the founding team mm -hmm. and discover what they're really about. Because a lot of the uh, f uh, NFT projects that are releasing or any Web3 projects that are releasing, uh, you just don't know who, who who's behind them. Yeah, and the whole the whole concept of what we're doing led to the title of the project, which yeah, we're, the, not wait, gonna, we're not going to say bro, it yet. Bro, yet. I just want to hype it up. I want to say... <laughs> cannot I wanna go say, that direction I want right to say the, the, the idea was especially curated and it, and it came to us like in, in the middle of the conversation. Yeah. Um, a, lot of, a lot of exciting par like parts that we put together. <laughs> I was so afraid you, you were going to say You thought I was going to say it. I know we're not going to say it. You're not. <laughs> Bro, don't make me say it. Let's, let's, do, a, you let's do a toast to this episode. Toast All right, let's get started with this episode. <laughs> well, what do we got? Since the last episode we posted yesterday, a lot of people have been asking me when's the next one coming up. Because people want to know what happened at the Asuki party. So Ooh. so let's kick it off with that. You want to give us a little rundown of what went down? Well, we got to the Asuki party. And like mentioned on uh, the previous video, you need, a, you need one Asuki to be able to go in as your token of admission, right? Yeah. And I think the floor price for Asuki, <laughs> I mentioned the last episode, it was like 30 ETH. It wasn't that 30 ETH. It was about 19 ETH per yeah. Asuki. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there was people literally from all over the world flying in for this specific event. We met um, this lady. Where is she from? From Tokyo. No, she wasn't from Tokyo. Tokyo? She said Tokyo? She, no, no, she said Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah, she flew in from Hong yeah. Kong specifically for the event. She had just arrived to LA just uh -huh. on time for the event. And she was in line with us. Um, so we were able to meet her. Where are you from? Hong Kong. Just in the line itself, like it was around the block. 
Yes. And you got some cool shots of that. I got footage of the whole thing. The whole thing. Uh, we had Wiz Khalifa. And who else performed? Uh, Takashi Monster. I can't remember Talkie her Monster. Talkie Monster. Yeah, the DJ. Talkie Monster. And I, f- I forgot the other DJs that were there. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. A guy was with Wiz, like his MC, I'm assuming. Um, but the whole event was dope. Like yeah. the setup from the location. Uh, location was called Night Gale LA, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. That venue is known to host like exclusive events for celebrities. So oh, the fact that we, that it was hosted there, that itself was dope. Um, yeah. They the whole Asuki team decked out the entire space with decorations. Mm-hmm. They even had an exclusive like drink menu, which was very nice. Yeah, and it was an open bar, so open bar. pretty much all you can drink. Mm-hmm. Roland really took advantage of that. Hey, <laughs> hey, nothing more than that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I I actually I told myself like I'm gonna try my best to not drink because. You know, we're, we're also working, you know. Mm-hmm. See, see. Yeah, we didn't get crazy. But, we man, that, those drinks were so good. The mezcal, what was it called? The Smoke. So it's called that Just was, Smoke, was, right? Smoke, that was the name That's, of the drink. Dude, that drink was so good. Mm-hmm. And uh, shout, out to, shout out to Artist Mafia. Yeah, shout out to Artist yeah. Mafia. They, uh, ben and David, they put together this event. Uh, their team, they've, they've, been, they've been doing a lot of Web2 events for the last, like, 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is the... F- one of the first big ones they throw for Web3. Yeah. And it turned out to be the biggest party of the year so far. Um, they're going to be hosting some parties in NFT and NYC, from what I understand. Um, possibly with the Metaverse team um, that's in talks. And uh, possibly with uh, Greg Yuna, with the Universe team. So, Yeah, also shout out to the video team that they worked with for you know, working hand in hand with us. Yeah. What's the name of the video team? I don't remember, bro. You're the one communicating with them. <laughs> well, I thought you knew. So I was, I'm the it. one crunched into the computer working on all this footage. <laughs> yeah. So, well, it's a uh, shout out to Artist Mafia and their video team because yeah. I don't really know uh, exactly who the, the actual video producers are. Mm-hmm. But we are working hand in hand to put all this content out for you guys, uh, show you guys some of the behind the scenes of what went on at the at the actual party. Yeah. And uh, pretty much every everybody, one of, one of my favorite things about it was... Everybody there was just open to talk. Normally, when you yeah. want to go to a nightclub, everybody's in their own little space and everybody's doing their own little thing. And yeah, even like when you're walking through the crowd at a normal nightclub, like people are gonna like shove you to the side. No, here everybody was welcoming you. Know, people would let you walk by. Mm-hmm. It was it was packed, but even then, it just felt it felt nice. You know, the, the energy yeah. was there. Felt good. Yeah, and everybody was showing like each other their like suki, and that me and Ronan were like. Man, we want one, man. <laughs> we were like on the side. We gotta get ourselves a we suki, bro. We the whole thing, though. So it was cool, but yeah. Yeah, soon. we gotta get we gotta get ourselves one. But uh, the, that, so this is what happened during the middle of the event. Um, the founder of a suki mm-hmm. released a announcement. They stopped the whole thing. They put up a video, which we have recorded, we right? We have recorded, and people knew that there was gonna be an announcement, but nobody knew what it was gonna be. Exactly. Nobody so knew. everybody's just kind of waiting for it, and. Um, Right when I saw it, I told Rob, I told Robert, hey, I think this is the announcement. This is it. This has got to be it. The founder, Sagabon, and you couldn't see him. He was like in a, it was like a red video and completely silhouette. silhouette. Mm-hmm. Super mysterious. Very super dope. dope. Very dope. He you know, talks about how they've been able to build a community. Mm-hmm. And at the very end, he says, check your wallets. With a little toothpick in there. Yeah, the a little toothpick. <laughs> and uh, the crowd just went crazy. Like literally the crowd was like, oh. Like, yeah, so uh, it turns out that every person that had an, one Asuki mm-hmm. ended up getting two airdrops Correct. per Asuki. We knew one of the, one of our guys, one of our friends had 45. Yep. 45 Asuki. <laughs> so he ended up getting 90 airdrops. And the value of each one, I mean, I wish I, wish, I, wish I should have checked this morning the floor price, but um, the value of each airdrop was around, at the time, like 25000 Yep. So every person got twenty five thousand dollars worth the spot. on the spot. That is crazy, crazy. Yeah. So guys, if you're not paying attention to what's going on in Web three, do yourself a favor. Stop playing video games for a couple of days, <laughs> and tune in. Go on YouTube, Google it, start researching. Subscribe to our podcast, our new upcoming show. Yep. Um, oh yeah. Wait, <laughs> we, I haven't said the name though, so it's yeah, we know, good, we good, we good though. Um, yeah, just get get really get really uh, educated. That's the bottom line. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not we're not experts here by any means. Yeah, but no, we're I, we're doing the work to get into the space. Yeah, a lot, a lot of um, my friends are super excited about what I'm doing, and I'm letting them know, like, guys, 
um, I don't know a lot about what's going on. Like I'm learning as I go. So yeah. jump in, um, join us on this journey. Mm-hmm. I know you're a little, you're a lot more informed in the space than I am, but even then I'm like about yeah. a month in and no. I'm, I'm learning. I'm I feel like, I don't know. Honestly, like, like when I speak to Roberto, See. I just listen, man, yeah. because, or anybody, almost anybody in the space, I just, I listen a lot because I don't consider myself an expert, you know, even though like I've been, yeah, I've been in the space for such a long time, but Same. it, it's uh what's being built um i feel like it's very new yeah it's very new and there's always something different coming out exactly every day so yeah you gotta just want to keep learning Mm -hmm. if you want to join the game yeah and uh so yeah anyway so back to the asuki party some of your highlights rolling hmm so i guess i mentioned the location location was dope 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 the setup um the drink menu that was dope uh there was an artist there I don't remember her, her Instagram handle, but I think she goes by Izzy. She was painting some of people's Asukis like on the spot. On the which spot, was really dope, really yeah, really, really dope really. artist. Um, they also had a really dope jacket. I'll let you talk about the jacket a little bit because I know you you really like the jacket. <laughs> well, I got <laughs> the security guard. So I fell in love with the jacket. When I, I'm a big fan of jackets. You guys mm-hmm. probably know. Almost always wearing the jacket, whether it's summer or not. Um, and as soon as we got there, there was like this presentation of a jacket and you should put a picture, a shot of this I, here. I got a really nice shot. I'll yeah. throw it in here just to give you guys a little sneak Roland peek. did some cinematic shots of it and I went up to it and I was like, I had to touch it. <laughs> and it was like kind of fenced in where it was still at arm's length. Yeah, there, but, was, there was a good like three foot circumference like gate yeah. around it. You can't, you couldn't, I mean, it was obvious that you were not supposed to touch it. <laughs> it wasn't so obvious. Was uh, it obvious? It was dark. I'll just say that. I don't well... <laughs> As soon as I touched it, I'm shit you not. Like a second and after I touched the jacket, like a security guard out of nowhere just appeared like, Hey, get your hands off the jacket. <laughs> I'm like, oh <laughs> So anyways, I ended up you know, obviously out of respect, of course. See, see, see. I didn't I didn't think of it like that. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like, okay, maybe because we're walking in, I'm thinking like, wow, what, what if everybody gets a jacket in here? I was like, just thinking like. That did cross my mind. I'm not going to lie. Because yeah. it was right next to the bar that was by the entrance. So, so yeah. yeah. So, anyways. But, yeah, the, the jacket was like, uh, had like a, you know, like what those, um, it wasn't embroidered. It was. Um, like a patch, maybe? It was like a patch. Mm-hmm. A big patch. Like in a the bomber back. jacket. Yeah. A bomber jacket. It's such a dope jacket. So, I wonder who it belongs to. Wiz, Mr. Wiz Khalifa made an appearance yeah. with his whole crew. His performance was dope, dude. Like, and the guy seemed pretty chill. We got a, we got a really dope clip of him and Roberto making an interaction. Yeah, that he, was really cool. He made eye contact with uh, Roberto, the founder of Metaverse and MV3. Um, Roberto completely owned that moment. Yeah, in front of the whole crowd. He was and slick with it. Was so slick with it, <laughs> and um, it felt like they were like best friends or something, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I think for me, like one of my favorite things about the party was just like I said earlier, like the, just the energy, like it really felt uh, people were, were really about excited just to see each other in person. A lot, of the, a lot of the people that, were, that are there are hanging out on discords and Twitter spaces, you know, eight, five to 10 hours a day. I don't know. Like, yeah, and this is the first time they met in person. Yeah. Ma- the majority of them, even people that are in the same team are meeting each other in person for the mm-hmm. first time. And from, from what I've been hearing after the party, um, a lot of people um, made, you know, the extra effort just to be there specifically, not necessarily for the party, but like to be able to meet that other person that they're in the same team with. Season. Yeah. So that's fucking dope, man. Like those are the things that don't really happen in traditional um, internet projects or internet uh, yeah, communities. Web3 you know? spaces. It's beautiful to observe, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's really dope. It kind of reminds me of that movie, like Ready Player One. Yeah. Where everybody's kind of like playing a game, but it's real life. Yeah. This is like... I mean, this is the infant stages of that, definitely. Mm-hmm. There's a scene in Ready Player One where they finally dox themselves. They finally see who's each, like each other. Like, oh, you're this yeah. person. You're this. So, yeah, I can totally... That's exactly the way it, the way it played out. Yeah. Cheers to that, bro. Cheers to that. All right. Um, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, uh, what, are, what, what are some of your highlights from the entire trip other than the party? Or just um, one highlight was highlight. Just keep it simple. Man. It's a tough one, right? When you, yeah. pe- when you put it at question, just one. I asked a question that I don't even have an answer to myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, being able to materialize um, a lot of the ideas that we had. Mm-hmm. You know, we had we went to this trip with a list of ideas or, and things that we wanted to accomplish. Yep. 
and we spoke about it. We had a meeting together, you know, and we said, hey, this is, what this is our mission. And that moment when we finally were headed back to the airport, then we were like, dude, we checked off every Everything. box. So that was probably like my, f the fact that we were, that we didn't just go just to like go, you know, like this, this is concept of seize the moment. See, 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 see. That's what we did. We seized the moment. We did what we need. We did what we needed to do to get everything we needed to get. And you know, this, those are that's how you get ahead, man. That's how you're able to make moves. Like this idea of like a lot of people like front, like oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, whatever. But like they're not really doing it, man. Nope. And yeah. you can't lie to yourself at the end of the day. Like you can lie to you can lie you can lie on social media, but did you really do it? And for us, the, the fact that. Well, you know, we were headed back to the airport and we're like, damn, bro, we're, we're exhausted. We've been carrying around, like, literally, like, heavy bags, heavy of, bags equipment. of equipment, cameras, lights. And we don't have a team, guys. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's us. We are yeah. the team. <laughs> and so, and uh, on top of that, like, on top of the production side of things, we're also the ones, you know, reaching out to people. Uh, you know, we don't, have, we don't have a line producer. We are the line producers ourselves. So we uh, we got it done, man. So that was my favorite moment, I think, from the entire trip. It's it's a summary of it's a it's a collaboration of everything that we did, into me driving back to the airport. We're in the Uber. By the way, we almost didn't make the flight, yeah. and we're like, we don't make the flight. That wasn't part of the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, one of my favorite things about the trip, very similar to you, uh, besides the weather. I mean, LA weather you can't go wrong with that. Um, it was a night before we took off. It was after we had shot the last set of interviews. Mm -hmm. It was uh, we, we were on a hunt for some electrolytes and some water. Oh yeah. Um, we were walking down the Hollywood Strip, and the conversation that we had. Yeah. That was probably my highlight, man, because a lot of ideas sparked from that one conversation. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't want to talk about it too much because we can talk about it uh, in the next few episodes next for episodes, sure. That's a powerful. Yeah. That conversation was interesting. And the the conversation that Roland's speaking about is uh, it's me and him like at the like we're just exhausted but we're starving and, Thirsty. and we're <laughs> like literally dehydrated yeah. you know um all the caffeine that we had taken a lot of caffeine a lot of caffeine so <laughs> we're walking down uh roland decides to go to a 7-eleven uh which is a few blocks away from our hotel two in the morning <laughs> two in the morning not the best time to go out in the street i think it was a saturday night saturday night <laughs> and man as soon as we walked out I was like dude i don't think this is a good idea man but we just kept going i was like all right let's just you know just be safe with it there's a lot of people out there you a know lot. this is my first time actually seeing hollywood strip like this i never really visited yeah, that there part was a bunch of like but like I said, we didn't know where we were, but there was a lot of bars in that area. A lot of bars so in that area. Yeah. People were walking out. People are like outside drunk, you know, throwing up, whatever, and fights our, our breaking mind, out. At, our, right at this point, our mind's going like a thousand miles an hour with yeah. just processing everything that we've experienced mm -hmm. the last few days. Yeah, because we've been filming and producing, mm -hmm. but we really haven't had like internal conversations like that. Like we yeah. haven't had the space to actually breathe, breathe and speak <laughs> everything that's been stored in our mind. So throughout this, I like th when you start working with somebody closely, the way we've been working, mm -hmm. you kind of communicate without communicating. True. Uh, you know, it's happened see, to see, me see. with like, when I used to work with Abel or with Carlos mm -hmm. or, or Gerard in this case, we would communicate without communicating. And then at, at the end, we would be like, oh yeah, I had this in mind too. I was thinking, the, I was thinking the same, same thing. So that's kind of what happened with us. We were same. walking on this and we were just so focused on, we had just, uh, worked on that we started talking about okay what's the next step what are what are we doing next and such a great conversation um i think that deserves this full episode yeah it does okay so we'll do that and uh i hate to leave it like this but yeah i think that should be <laughs> probably not the next episode but the following after that which will be mm -hmm. sometime next week yeah bro that'll be so sick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, man, that's uh, that was uh, LA NFT LA. Um, would love to dive into an episode speaking uh, more about our time with Wahid and Giovanni. Definitely, that's such a powerful. That was such a powerful day. That was a dope day, man. And I actually spent two. Well, we we'll spent one night with him and then another full day with him. See, see, see. So amazing people. Amazing, amazing people. people. 
Yeah, and I would love to really talk about what we discovered through them, but when the time is right, specifically because of you know these um, these partnerships that they're they're creating, we want to make sure we don't overstep what they're what they're working on. Um, yeah, man, that's uh, that was NFT LA our experience. Uh, we filmed everything, so eventually you will see everything. Uh, out in a formal, not podcast format, but no. actual story format. I'm working, guys. We're both working. Yeah. <laughs> and we do have another editor coming on board. Alex is going to be working with us. Uh, shout out to Alex. Let's He's, go. Yeah. He um, just moved back to Laredo, Texas, so he'll be our full-time editor. And uh, that'll help us a lot with everything we're producing. And we probably are going to need more editors, though. Yeah. yeah, we're doing, we're, we're filming a lot. Yeah. Um, I'll give you guys another, in June, June 20th to, to the 23rd, um, if you guys want to meet up with us, we're going to be in New York City. Uh, we are going to be having a, our own studio set up. Hey, we're going to hey, be filming hey. a few episodes for the podcast there. Mm -hmm. And we do have a few sponsors lined up for that as well. But we probably, what I'm thinking of having, doing is an actual live um show so like like uh, what's it called like guest okay yeah like actual people okay you know what i mean yeah i like that so june 20th to the 23rd my, it's my brother's birthday on the 20th so i'm gonna see if he can make it over there <laughs> yeah. uh, but we're also gonna have the guru cats team there Let's um, go. everybody that i'm that we're working with is gonna be there and this, this uh new york city for some reason i feel has the most uh impactful or it's always a leader when it comes to um, experiences. You know, NFT LA was dope, but wait till we do NFT NYC. New York City. Yeah. So I'm um, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, man, let's, um, let's keep on making let's moves. Let's get it. Thank you so much for all the support. Anything you want to say, Roland? Uh, again, appreciate the support from 956. What can they do to support? Like, what can we do to support? What can they do to support? They can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. Listen to our uh, episodes on Apple Music, Spotify, and share. Share with share your friends. Share with friends. Leave a review. Like, if you're on Apple Podcasts, like, leave a five-star review. Mm -hmm. It literally helps out so much. It does. If you're on YouTube, like, watch the full episode. You know? Like, even if it's playing in the background, it helps with our watch time. Um, if you want to start get into cryptocurrency download the voyager app there's a link below here you're going to use a code jeff 636 i believe we'll put it on the screen here the first time you deposit you get 25 dollars. you get 25 dollars of bitcoin for you and then we get 25 dollars in bitcoin mm -hmm. so that'll be a way for you to support the show as well and yeah man just uh spread the spread the word we are working hard to give you bring awareness to everything that's going on in web3 but also like just artists musicians anybody that's tied into because web3 is about that it's about the artist itself yeah so what we're doing plays a role into all that you know so house of clay episode four Let's it's a wrap get it. <laughs>